Hello my friends, welcome back to Obsessed with Caddy and Christy. Uh, for this week, this is going to be the second week that we are focusing on being inspired by Missy Whedon. Um, so, this week we're focusing on her style and more of her technique. So, what I decided to do is, um, and I did this thinking my camera was recording, and it wasn't. So, I'm just going to go over it with you guys because I want to explain kind of what I did. Um, some of this is kind of Missy, but some of it is not really, or, um, I guess it could be, because Missy just loves mixed media, and she loves making fun backgrounds, so, um, basically, I just, I started with an idea, and I was just going to spray, um, my di my, not dilutions, my shimmer sprays, which Missy uses all the time, um, in the background, and I was going to make this fun, um, sort of mix of colors, and then I was going to punch them out, using my punch, my hexagon punch. Um, and then I was going to create um, a page and a design with the punched out shapes. So that's where I started off. Um, however, when I started spraying everything and um, I just stepped, stepped back and looked at it, I liked the way that it looked. So I decided to just keep this, um, this look. So I'm happy with it. So what I did to create this, um, and this is going to be my background, this is going to be my picture right here of my adorable niece. Um, so what I did was I trimmed everything down, so I'm going to back it on this. This paper is from We Are Memory Keepers from the Urban Chic collection. It's called English Garden. So I'm going to use that paper around the whole border and the colors just match really nicely. So I really like that. So what I did for this, started off with a stamp. So I started off with this clear stamp. This is from Prima and it's just some um, cursive script. This is from Prima and Finnebear. And then I used some stays on. So all I did was I just grabbed the stamp. I didn't even put it on the stamp block. I just grabbed the stamp, dabbed it in my ink, and then just kind of um, placed it in different areas around the page. So that's what I did first. Secondly, I took my mist. I took some of the lighter colors, like the light yellow and the lighter pink, which uh, was this one. So the no yolking and the cotton candy. And I did a little bit of the packaging technique in the back. Um, and then I realized I just wanted to spray it directly on. So I just started spraying it in random areas. So I used um, No Yolking, which is a coloring, Cotton Candy, which is a spritz. Um, this is Mandarin Mai Tai, which is a coloring. I also used uh, Pink Stiletto, which is a coloring. Oh Say Can You See, which is a coloring. I used um, another coloring, Pretty in Pink and Peachy Keen. So. Those are all the colors that I used on here. And I just literally just sprayed them. Um, some of them were, I had to spray a couple times to kind of get the intensity of the color. That's why they kind of um, did this. You can see the color kind of um, gathered in certain areas, which is fine with me. I like the look of that. So that was that. Um, I also did some splatters in this one. This is the colorings. It's called Mama Sings the Blues. It's like a navy. And that's where you see these big splotches. Um, so what I did is, since the big splotches kind of started to blend with the other colors, I just took a, um, a paper towel and just wiped them, and then they, it kind of muted them down. So that's that. And the last thing I did uh, for that was, um, or for as far as ink, was I used India ink with a brush, and I just kind of um, flicked the brush so that I could get splatters all over the place. Uh, then I took a stencil from the Crafters Workshop, this one by the Crafters Workshop and Rhonda Palazzari. This one's called Mini Positive. Um, it's little plus signs. And first I took some of the pink stiletto. Which one is that? This one. Um, and I just uh, sprayed it through here and here. And then um, it wasn't showing through as much as I would like. So I did the same thing. I put the stencil here and down here. And I used some white modeling paste. Right, so um, and then that gave it a little bit of texture and the interest um, with the uh, with the little plus signs. So this is where I'm at right now. Um, like I said, I cut the whole thing down and it's going to be backed on this. So I'm thinking I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to place something um, heavy over it so that it can flatten out a little bit better because it's really really um, warped quite a bit because I didn't use gesso. I probably should have because that's something Missy does, right? <laughs> but I didn't use gesso. Again, because my initial idea was to spray a bunch of colors and then punch them out. So that was my idea. So it kind of took a different route because I like the way that this looks. 
so I'm just gonna go with it so um, I just wanted to quickly come in and share what I did exactly so you guys know because like I said my footage didn't happen it got um, or it wasn't recording so yeah so I'm gonna be using this picture of my adorable niece I'm thinking I'm gonna place it probably over here so we'll see where this ends up but this is gonna be the main focus of my layout I love how this turned out it's a lot of fun and really colorful so um, yeah, so stay tuned. I'm going to go on fast forward now and I will finish off this layout. Thank you. So, um, I went ahead and let that dry, uh, overnight with, um, some heavy, uh, paper pads on top of it. So I made sure that was nice and, uh, dry and flat. Um, it didn't flatten out completely, but it did flatten out for the most part. So I'm okay with that. So uh, what I did here is I took a bunch of Project Life cards from my stash. I have 3x4 cards and 4x6 cards. I think I only used the 4x6 cards. And what I'm doing is I'm just creating layers behind my photo here. Rather than cut up uh, into the pattern papers that I have in my stash from this collection, um, I just used these Project Life cards uh, because I want to hoard those papers for a little bit before I use them so <laughs> I just took a bunch of these project life cards in colors that uh, match this background that I created um, and I'm just alternating with different colors here and just um, making the edges square because the edges on this um, on these cards are round so I am creating just very tight layers and I love to do that I love tight layers uh, of behind my photo and then I used this black and white one in the back all the way behind the photo um, kind of separating the photo from the uh, background because I think it does add some nice separation uh, between the photo and the background because the layers behind the photo are very colorful and so is the background so that black and white polka dot really makes it stand out um, and uh, pop off the page which of course is what you want because you want the photo to be the main focus so uh, I went ahead and did that I did add fun foam to the back of that to make it pop um, off the page even more uh, now I'm gonna work on my title because I'm not really sure where I want to go from here um, or what else I want to add to this page so I'm going to work on my title I'm gonna use that suite which is um, from a thickers foam words pack um, and I want to say that's Amy Tan but I could be wrong um, so I use that and then that smile um, is from these pink thickers which are uh, they're like little puffy thin stickers and they are from Dear Lizzie the Happy Place collection. So I'm going to nestle that smile underneath the suite there. I'm going to have to move it over because it didn't quite fit. So I'm going to just nestle it under there and I'm actually going to take off that love and I'm going to decide to use something else for love. Then I'm going to use these um, aqua colored um, little letters which come in the sticker sheet and I'm just placing them on a piece of um, of paper that I had sitting there a scrap and that's going to be a lot easier to manipulate those letters because if you stick them down to your layout directly it's going to be harder to move them if you want to move them even if you want to shift them over a little bit it's going to be hard to pick up each of those individual letters so it's a nice um, little tip for you to just stick them onto a piece of paper and, and that way it's one word so you just move that one word around it's a lot easier and a lot quicker <laughs> So uh, what I'm doing here, I'm taking this chipboard um, word, which is from Amy Tan, and this is a craft colored word. So I'm going to add some gesso to it with my finger, very Missy-like, she loves using her finger to smudge things. So I'm smudging some gesso onto this uh, word, and I'm just priming it because I'm going to add some color to it. So I took out one of my shimmers in the Mandarin Mai Tai color, which is that beautiful orange um, golden not orange, golden yellow color, um, and I'm going to add color to this. Uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to actually take a gelato, and I'm going to use a gelato to just add some color to it, um, and I'm going to smudge it again with my finger. And once you have gesso on there, it's very easy to smudge that gelato. So I'm adding the Mandarin Mai Tai color with a brush, and this is just a regular brush from my stash and little pieces from my brush are falling off <laughs> this is a very old brush I need to get a new brush set I need to put that on my uh, to buy list <laughs> so yeah just gonna dry that off and make sure that's nice and dry so I can adhere that down to my page 
Um, and if you guys uh, haven't already checked out Christy's video, make sure you go check her out. Can't wait to see what she creates today uh, being inspired by Misty. We're both huge fans, so I can't wait to see what she makes. Um, so yeah, so I have my uh, title already done and um, I'm very, very happy with the way that my title looks. I love the combination of all the letters. I'm loving that lately. And I know Missy does that a lot too. She mixes up um, like little tiny word stickers and thickers and she even makes like cut files uh, of words to add to her title from her cameo. So she just mixes it up and I really like that. I like that look. Um, I think it looks very cool to have sort of a mixed font and mixed um, color title. I think it adds a lot of interest to a layout. So I'm doing uh, another Missy staple here, the Tangle Thread, and I'm just adding um, colors over uh, color. So pink over pink, yellow over yellow, and the aqua color over aqua. So just uh, coordinating colors of thread I'm adding to just add some um, interest and some more texture and I really love the tangled thread thing I'm very glad Missy um, started doing that so we can all copy her because it's a great thing <laughs> I love the tangled thread um, I think it definitely adds a lot of dimension a lot of fun to a layout and I'm working on getting my tangled thread to look the way that I wanted to because <laughs> it doesn't always fall the way that I would like so once I get those um, that tangled thread adhered down, I'm going to start pulling some stickers here from this sticker sheet. And some of them I'm going to pop up on foam, so on the foam, uh, the fun foam. And I'm taking a couple stickers up top. The black one up there on top of my photo says Be Bold. On top of that, the uh, aqua one says Tray Tray Chic and the pink one says dreamer so they're just really fun phrases and they all go because this is a picture of my adorable niece and um and she really does have this sweetest smile and she i hope she's a dreamer and i hope she's bold and tray tray chic <laughs> um as she grows so uh definitely just a few things that um that i thought went really nicely with this and uh, I'm going to use one at the bottom there which says follow your heart and I definitely hope she does that. Um, and the little glasses I also use and I'm going to pop those up as well. The little glasses are super, super cute. The little heart glasses. So I'm just looking through the sticker sheet trying to see what else I can use here. And I take this diagonal stripe um, strip uh, and I'm just going to add a piece to the top and a piece to the bottom and I think that adds um, a nice touch and a nice pop of color uh, at the top and the bottom and it creates some separation from the title and that um, that sticker down there and and at the top so um, I just added that and then I'm just going to scatter some of these hearts from the sticker sheet all around the page as well um, on the layout so yeah that's going to be pretty much the, the kind of the finishing touch here that and a couple more stickers I'm going to add those little gold ones the sticky on them is terrible. <laughs> they did not want to stick. They were clinging to my nails and not sticking to the paper. Um, I don't know why. It was just the gold ones. Maybe because they're foil. I don't know. Uh, but anywho. Um, so I, I'm going to use the gold ones. I'm actually going to end up using three. I put them back but I'm going to end up using them. And I'm going to add two of them to the glasses. Um, and I'm going to add another one next to the word sweet. And I'm going to actually add these little eyelashes from the sticker sheet to the top there, but I take them off. I was just kind of messing with them, but I, I didn't like the way they looked, so I did take them off. So that is it. I'm gonna add these XOXO stickers at the top and bottom, and that finishes it off. So here are some close-up shots. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my video. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel, and make sure you go check out Christy's video on her channel. I'll have a link to that below. So thanks again for watching and I hope you guys are having a great day. Bye!